On average, the black dollar circulates for about six hours in a black community. We need to do better as a community to support black owned businesses, but that's sometimes easier said than done. Before we can support black owned businesses, we need a readily available economic search engine to be able to find those black businesses to support in our communities. The Central Black Business app is the answer to that question. The EVA is always on the community side, meeting the community's needs with easy access. This is how it's supposed to be. I completely agree with the way the new president is handling um, leaders. They have been in that position for so long, five years, and they have nothing to show for it. So what did he say? He said, okay, cool. If you have nothing to show for five years of being in that position, pay up refund the salary that we've been paying you and he did it in front of the whole entire country because this conference was held and broadcasted live let me just show you a clip we'll come back and discuss i think it will be fair to ask for a refund of salaries from those two gentlemen <laughs> <laughs> honestly i mean they haven't done the job they were hired to do you know and, and because the, the job is, is based on results. If there are no results, it doesn't matter what you have been doing. So really, um, uh, Mr. Kosge and Mr. Njuguna, you guys must actually demonstrate to me why you should not refund the salaries you've been, we've been paying you. How embarrassing is it to be called out in front of millions of people and rightfully so. If you do right by the people, that's fine. You know, even that, I think you need your flowers. Sometimes we uh, tend to expose the corrupt and the ones that are not doing their job right, but we neglect the ones that are doing a great job, right? So they need and deserve their flowers, but the ones that mess up the ones that just steal and steal and steal and never do anything that they're supposed to do. If anything, they make it worse because they borrow money, probably from the West or China, and then they never use that money to do anything for the people. Taxpayers' money also goes into this, nothing to show for it. All the money, most of it, will go in their pockets. They'll buy luxurious cars or houses outside of the country so that nobody can track it and take the, the money from them. And then the next generation comes and takes after them. And we're depressed because we don't know what to do because there's no money. Not just that, it's negative because they borrowed money. So I agree with calling out leaders and holding them accountable. They need to pay up. They need to refund their salaries. If not, show us what you did. You've been there for a long time. What exactly did you do for the people? Anyways, fam, let us know down below what your thoughts are about this. I am Wangil Zalalam. I'll see you on the next one. Bye. Make sure you pick up my two books that's in Amazon right now. The first one is Passive Aggressive Racism in the System of White Supremacy. And I talk about in that particular book how the system of white supremacy really runs and on our daily lives here in America. In our latest book, Seven Steps to Decolonize the Mind, we go through those steps to try to deprogram you uh, from the system of white supremacy. Make sure you can pick up those books on Amazon.com.